in the Small Business Edge, tips on how to boost your business online. Here and ready to spill the secrets, marketing expert and vice president of global customer marketing at Facebook, Michelle Klein. Good to have you with us today and getting the most out of Facebook. What can you tell us about boosting a business? Of course. Um, well, as we know, small businesses have really suffered through the last 18 months of the pandemic. And in many respects, they're the heartbeat of our communities and they're the backbone of the US economy. And we've been really focused in supporting small businesses in so many ways. But this summer, we know that there are some that are rebounding and others that still need a lot of help. So we're launching the Boost with Facebook Good Ideas Festival. And that is a free online training and content and resources program um, which will run for seven weeks across the summer. It's going to be hosted by actress Zoe Saldana. You may know her from the movie Avatar. And it's going to run across 40 countries across the world and people can tune in from anywhere and get the resources and the support that they need. How can we all support small businesses which are now on the road to recovery? It's a great question. You know, the things that we can do as consumers is, number one, we can shop local. We can support the local businesses in our community. But what we should do is check out whether they've pivoted. Maybe they've created a shop on Facebook or they're operating through Instagram or other digital surfaces so we can buy online from them and really support them in that way. But secondly, we all have friends and Facebook, uh, friends and family across Facebook and Instagram and all of our social media networks. We can also support them by advocating for them. We introduced a hashtag, which is called uh, deserves to be found, where people can tag a business or an idea from a business that they love in their local community and share that with their network across the globe. You never know, a small business from your local town might actually find a new customer through you somewhere in the other, another part of the world. Any business advice as some companies are now reopening? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I meet with small businesses every single day and I hear lots of stories of success and, and how they're pivoting and recovering. And two pieces of advice that I will give. Number one, communicate, communicate, communicate. Um, now more than ever, you can use your Facebook page, your Instagram page, you can use Messenger chat to let your customers know what's changing with your business. Maybe you've opened up for indoor dining. Maybe you've got new products and services. Keeping that content alive and fresh will really create a sense of community with your customers and, help, and hopefully get them back in or get them buying um, from you in new and different ways. And then the second is think about expanding your marketing right now. People are shopping online more than ever. We're all at home and we're on our computers and our phones. So think about using tools like personalized ads if you're a small business to extend your reach. Perhaps you're reaching customers in the local community now, but what if you could reach customers who are interested in your products across the country or even across the world? Some of the most inspiring stories that I hear from the businesses that I meet are when they are a Chicago-based ice cream uh, company shipping across the country to customers that they've found by using personalized ads through the pandemic. You should go to fb.com slash Good Ideas Festival. You can find everything there. Well, thank you for all of your tips today. Thank you. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.